I think it's mostly Sunday everywhere in the world except uh, Asia. <clears throat> All right. I knew there's one last thing I wanted to do, and I'm going to do it right now, so bear with me. Get this piece of paper here. These are notes to myself. All right, right down right here. Uh, now I'm drawing a blank. That's why you write notes to yourself before you start streaming. Because <laughs> I want to come up too. Uh, yeah, let me see what else I've got going on here. I know there was other stuff. Give, you know what? I'm sure there was other stuff, but here we go. How do you like the whole new setup? It's not really that new. I, I did it pretty much um, while I was on break. That was on my laptop. So every time I go somewhere new, I have to reconfigure all this. So I wanted to have the chat window represented. 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 And um, I wanted the alerts so I could hear when people uh, subbed or cheered or whatever. Although I can't hear it in my... That would mean I'd have to open up Twitch, but on on this computer, the problem is I don't want to use up the bandwidth. So I'll just keep it the way it is. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll turn it up on this one, though, here. Perfect. Okay. All right, it is 10.07. I have a hard out at uh, 12 o'clock because I am going to be tabling at Avon's. If those of you don't know what Avon's is, it's a grocery store chain here in California. Um, Girl Scouts basically go online. Oh, you know, I can move this and start sketching. I can sketch and draw because I know some of you guys are impatient and want to see something drawn immediately ASAP. You want the most drawing per moment slash moment um, density as possible. All right. Uh, what was I saying? So, yeah, I'll be tabling at um, my local Vons here in Studio City, which is um, going to be a lot of fun because there'll be people that uh, will be coming in for groceries, but we'll be selling cookies and if you have comics if you have comics feel free to um you know what i'm gonna move over here a little bit um you know i'm gonna make one adjustment for the sake of this camera so bear with me guys Ooh, this is gonna be tricky so i'm just gonna keep talking um Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be going to this Vons, and uh, I'll be set up with my Girl Scout troop, my daughter, and uh, that's, that didn't work too well. Um, oh, that does remind me I have to do this. Um... second so we'll be set up there is that in focus pretty much let me just do that a little bit better I was trying to move this so that could, my, my lovely large head could be in frame while I was drawing. I said, you know what? It's not that important. Um, so yeah, we'll be in front of this Vaughn selling Girl Scout cookies. If you are in the LA Valley area, come on, come on by. I'll be there 30 minutes after the stream is over. My wife and, and daughter will be there starting at noon and we'll be there from two o'clock. That's our allotted time. I thought these girls just kind of um, would go to any place and set up on their own but it's, it's highly it's all regulated it's all on a web interface you have to book in like immediately 
when uh, it's available because these slots are, are very um, uh, hot ticket items. And then I think there's one more place I might be tabling, but I'm not sure. So this is the opportunity. I didn't want to put too advanced notice out. I didn't want there to be a ton of people, frankly, showing up and standing in front of the bonds. Because that's weird. Um, so really, it's for people that have nothing else to do. <laughs> um, which kind of puts me in a weird spot on people's priority lists. Um, anyway, so I said I was going to draw, and I'm going to draw. Um, let's see. All right. Our Sky 13 has subscribed. E C or oh my gosh, Assert has cheered 200 bits. Assert, if you're in channel, you have a uh, head sketch for me to sketch. Edgar Skyle has cheered. Thank you very much. E C I R H T. Assert. I'm thinking it's Aaron. Or Eddie Sirt. Swampy. Okay, Swampy. Perfect. That's a good starter. I, I can do no wrong with swamp, swamp, uh, Swampy. I'm 10 has resubscribed. Thank you very much. Bloodhaven has subscribed. Bloodhaven Knight has resubscribed. Last Exit 99 has subscribed. Thank you very much. Cheers from Lan Lamstein. Hi from Hamburg. Hi. Guten, no. Guten Nacht. Guten Nacht? No. What time is it? Ich habe in Hamburg uh, gearbeitet. Ja. In uh, 1986. Ja. Bin ich, bin ich ein Krankenschwester Praktikant. Allgemeines, allgemeines Krankenhaus. Eins. <laughs> Crap, my German is horrible. Sorry. Stupid my line. Uh, VZ in the house has resubscribed. Thank you very much for appropriating my lovely... Uh, I don't know. Appropriating. I don't know what I'm saying this morning. Snakebite DB has resubscribed. Tith has resubscribed. Uniz Unagizilla has resubscribed. Hey, ooh. Growly has subscribed. This is going to take me 15 minutes just to do this. Uh, Weshugenbogum. Weshugenboom. <laughs> Hi from the Vons. Perfect. Uh, Rammstein. No, it's not Rammstein. It's Lamstein. Yeah, okay. Crispy. Thank you very much. Swamp thing. Um, growly. No, snake bite of. Marvin Dow. No, that's a day ago now. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm caught up. Caught up. I think I'm caught up. Buttershug has subscribed. Trevor Kai. Let's see a Supergirl today. Love the stream. Thank you for subscribing, Trevor. Good to see you. Jay Carlos. Um, you know, I did this angle already with the uh, Swamp Thing already. What should I do? What should I do? I want to do something different for you guys. Um, I guess I could just do him coming out of the, the muck. More of a straight on shot. Or let's do this. Um, let's do a hand with fingers coming at you. And the, and the trick here is to draw the fleshy sausage part at the end first. Okay? Where, um, where am I looking? Sausage. And by sausage part, I mean, I mean this. Okay. Think of this. You know, like a Vienna Frankfurt Vienna sausage. Okay, so when the hand's coming towards you like that, this, this is what you're going to draw, and the rest is kind of foreshortened behind it, okay? 
<laughs> I just did something very obscene with my hand. Sorry. Okay. Bear with me. All right. So sausage. 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 And then thumb, thumb sausage. That's a different kind. A little spicier. Okay. Or Lampstein. Uh, finger. I think finger is finger, isn't it? Wurst. Finger Wurst. Okay. So you draw your, your four sausages and then just kind of draw the, the rest of the finger behind the sausages. The meat of the palm. Everything's food related. I, I must be hungry subconsciously. I don't. Subconsciously. I don't know what I'm saying. Tired or hungry. Your guess is good as mine. Okay. Here's my hand. What is finger in German? I think it's finger. Finger Bratwurst. Wurst finger. Yeah, there we go. Wurst finger. Uh, okay. Wurst finger. Yeah. Have a wurst finger gezeichnet. Okay. Thank you, Will Broussard, for the cheer. Thank you. Zorgan60 has subscribed as well. All right, so now I've drawn this hand, and frankly, I need to see. Hold on one second. Ren Elephant, are you talking? Is that. In response to is uh, Mortal Man going to be good? You said nine? I hope you're saying on a scale of one to ten it's a nine? Or are you saying no? Swamp thing. Alrighty. Uh, he's just a dude. He's a dude with five fingers. All right. <laughs> Nine. Ten, ten out of ten. Right, I'm going to try to do a whole stream all in German. All right. So what I'm envisioning is, is Swamp Thing kind of doing this kind of thing. Like he's freaking you out. Like, whoa. You've, you've, you've smoked the wrong herb from the, the swamp. How many fingers do I have up kind of thing, right? He's just messing with you like your buddy from high school. All right. And then I've got all this negative space I want to use up here. <laughs> you know, the Swiss really don't speak German. I've, I've seen, I've seen, I've seen, uh, what was it? Bachelor Win Winter Games? They had some guy from Switzerland um, speaking German. I was like, what? Das ist nicht Deutsch. All right. Um, okay. They call it a warm-up sketch for a reason. It's because they suck. All right. I've got uh, too many computers up at once, and I don't know how to move things around. Rom Rom 13470 has resubscribed. Re Thank you. Sheldon Buchert, Buchert has subscribed. X-Force 1 has subscribed. Um, I'm going to do more of a... Less of like I'm in your face fingers. I'm going to do more of a creepy thing. So, um, what else have I missed in chat? Hold on a second. Let me see if I can do both. I'm going to do a little drawing while not look. Head looks like Vader. Okay, perfect. No, Jim, it looks good. No, Clay Clayton. I will say when it's good. It does not look good. It's not good. Um, 
So that's what I could. I'm glad Deutsch is a, uh, Dutch is a bit like German. I could so I can understand. Yeah. Well, I mean my German is very basic. So okay. All right. Okay. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially um, techno virus gambit. Would be awesome to draw. Um, can I hear for techno virus gambit? Yeah, I don't hear anything. Sorry, sorry. It's not good. Techno virus gambit, no good. Okay. Um, why do I know German? I thought it would be useful when I was a kid. Uh, okay. So this is the the hand as a uh, holding the ball concept, right? You guys all know that, right? I've, I've discussed it before. So it's this hand. Imagine drawing a baseball here. I don't have one here. But if you were holding a ball, right, it would be in the inside. I'm looking around for a ball. There's nothing. And then, uh, so I draw that, because everyone can draw a hand holding a ball. Apparently it's easier. And then I race the ball, and then I'm left with the, the fingers, right? So here's one finger up here. Another here, another here, another here. Thumb over here. Here's the ball that he's clenching, showing you. It's awesome. Uh, fastball grip. I'm foreshortening the forearm, shoulder, uh, bicep, shoulder, chest, and then his head coming down at you. And he's just waiting, just going, dude, when are you going to ink me? And before I do that, a little thing about foreshortening. I did talk about arms yesterday. If you missed that scintillating discussion, it will be on my YouTube channel, www.youtube.com slash jimlee00. Okay. All right. And what I talked about with, with uh, arm muscles was uh, adding interstitials at the joints to, make, to lengthen it, give you a little more elasticity and dynamic kind of feel but now I'm going to actually talk about how uh, and this is important for foreshortening so pay attention um, all my German came from Nightcrawler Nightcrawler's German was horrible don't know none of the languages that the X-Men spoke were really Tovarish no one, no one says that anymore yo my Tovarish no does not happen so, um, days going swamp thing, question mark, you're getting off the track, dude. If you know anything about the stream, you know that I will get back to, to swamp thing in about 15 minutes. All right. Okay. So this is important for foreshortening. I think of each part of the body in terms of a three dimensional shape, independent of each other. And they interlock like a Lego or, a, I don't know, blocks or whatever the kids play with these days. And they can rotate on the joints. And it's good to uh, visualize this three-dimensionally versus thinking about uh, what it looks like on a piece of paper. So you want to think virtually, three-dimensionally in your head. Okay? So uh, yesterday we talked about the shoulder being kind of this igloo shape, right? All right, but let's rotate that a little bit. So I think about sort of like this kind of shape. Okay, and then the the bicep as being kind of uh, this kind of shape, more of a football with these kind of triceps nodules on the side. Okay, and then the forearm is kind of a Hack, hack of harm, hack of ham, hack of ham shape, right? If you go into the butchers or the butchers, um, you see these uh, hacks of ham, right? And see, they're very, uh, none of them are, are symmetrical. They're all asymmetrical shapes, okay? And these then interlock at these joints, Okay, so uh, they all come together, 
and that's how you get your arm. Okay. Sorry. Okay, so I've taken this bicep, 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 Sean Connery, my bicep, I've taken my bicep, money pet, uh, so I'm taking the bicep, tricep shape, attaching it to this kind of igloo uh, shoulder thing, and attaching this hawk of ham forearm, and then uh, what's important though is that if I foreshorn it towards you, this hawk of ham has kind of a, if I, or to look at it from this point of view, straight on. Okay. So that's important. And then the bicep is behind there, and then the tricep sits above that. Or not tricep, the shoulder. There, there's that igloo there. So there's that hand coming straight at you. And we know this because the hand, this hand would be like this. See that? Yeah. Habt verstanden? Yeah, yeah. Hi from France. Ça va? Ça va? Ça va? That's all I know in French. It means how are you? And it means I'm good. It's just the intonation. Okay. I love it when ham comes straight at me. I just hope it goes in. <laughs> das ist die 8827. Making a funny, very funny. Uh, okay. You guys got that? All right. So then if I'm doing a hand that's kind of coming. And so you could do this for any part of the body. So uh, this would be kind of. The, the thigh, the knee, the calf area, right? Okay, and then if you put them all together, here's the foreshortened part of this. So, but see how kind of it's, it's very similar. If you get, Go to the butcher shop, just draw the hocks of ham. Draw, study the hocks of ham on the walls. Okay, so I'm foreshortening this thigh coming at us and then this calf going away. So it's, they're just kind of layered on top of each other. And then the foot down here. Okay. <clears throat> so, getting back to Swamp Thing. All right, okay. Um, This uh, the stream is all about going ham. Jim made it funny. You know what's really good? A birico ham. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. I B E R I C O. Has anyone had that? Like in Barcelona? So good. All right. So I'm going to draw this, the finger first. No, oh, actually, no, I, I, I changed it. It's the creepy hand. It's not the finger first hand. Sorry. And the great thing about drawing Swamp Thing is that um, you really cannot screw it up. He's uh, what we call a bulletproof character. A bulletproof character or bu bulletproof design. I think Batman's a virtually bulletproof character, which is funny because he's the only one that really isn't bulletproof. He's a character that you, uh, it's hard to screw it up. Either drawing wise, conceptually, meaning it's very forgiving, or it's got a concept that's so solid that it's really hard, that it's even a really bad project by a creator uh, will not tarnish the brand, right? 
even if you produce a really bad Batman movie or something, he will rebound because he's bulletproof. That's the expression. All right. Uh, you having me screw up? Okay, this, this uh, chat is going to go fast. He is doing one Khaleesi Cat 8. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you, Ranny. Ranny was a cyborg. That sounds like a pop band from like the 80s. Um, six months of incredible art and wonder ostriches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Randy was a cyborg for subscribing. Dave C. Dave C. F. Prez. Dave Prez. I don't know. Has cheered. Thank you very much, Dave. And Rame303 has subscribed. Thank you. As well as Lolif. Lolif? Lolif? Lolifi? Lolif. Okay, so that's the creepy hand. And if you put a baseball there, okay, uh, that's where it would fit right inside that circle. Um, tendons. These tendons here. But because they're foreshortened, they go towards this vanishing point. That's why they kind of go towards each other there. The hawk of ham which I threw away. Uh, so here's the top part of the forearm. I'm going to draw this top part here. All right, hold on. Let me make muscle here. Mm, mm, mm. All right, there. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. I'll show you my, my four. That's literally a bone with flesh on it at this point. Um, so there's the top part right here. Top part of the forearm. Side. Inside meat. Bottom. The sexiest part of the forearm right here, the bottom right there. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay. Here's a hint of that bicep. And then the shoulder igloo. There's the, uh, the study over here. This is the, um, the family room where people congregate. And then over here, is the kitchen off to the side entrance is right there okay uh <laughs> you have to be at least 21 to touch jim's guns uh yeah greg will be scared to arm wrestle you i think you're having i think you're taking a piss on me or I, whatever the phrase is i don't know i'm trying to be international today Taking a piss on no taking a what's the, what's the phrase? It's not piss on because that would be gross. It's the the British say it. Hot damn! Just sucking eggs, man. All right, so I had this debate with the mods and and poop kid. Uh, I use this phrase in chat because like we'll we'll talk off streamed about what's going on in the world of Twitch and Bitcoin and uh, Swiss politics. Huge topic of discussion. Um, no one's ever heard the phrase sucking eggs. Like I sucked eggs at that. Like I was trying to draw the swamp thing along with Jim and I sucked eggs. No. Unique Flowbot. I just arrived. What are you sketching, Jim? Nice way to be passively aggressive, like, what the F are you doing? So those of you that have heard the expression, sucking eggs, are you over or under 35 years old? My guess is all of you will be 35 or older. I guess it's the old fat. But they were like, oh, 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 oh. that's my crispy laugh. Oh. <laughs> Ren, you can verify. Crispy laugh verified. Hashtag true. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, they're all 
uh, amused by the expression sucking eggs. Okay. Wow. What is it that makes uh, Swamp Thing look unique? What is it? There's something about it I have to like figure out. Excuse me one second, guys. That's what it is. It's the brow. Okay, I gotta make sure I hit that brow. Okay. And I gotta hit it hard. All right. Okay. And then the brow leads to the nose. So when I was in uh, this German hospital, I worked in the uh, Hals Nase. No, Hals Oren Nase. I don't know what order they put it in. The ear, ear, nose, throat department as a, an assistant to, to nurses. So I worked there one summer because at the time I, could, I was actually proficient in German. And I went around and I took people's uh, blood pressure and pulse and chatted up these, these dudes. And some of them were fairly old and had actually been in World War II. Um, one guy had worked, uh, worked. Uh, he had uh, fought. He was in a U boat. He was in a submarine. He worked on a submarine. And then another guy worked on a submarine. He fought as a submariner. Kriegsmariner? I don't know. Um, another one had been captured and sent to a POW camp. Did you know that America had POW uh, camps? as well but his it was in Colorado and he said it was like the best time of his life he said it was beautiful and can you be, can you imagine being captured World War II in Europe and then you're shipped off on a boat all the way back to Colorado you know the hills are alive right be, be trippy Okay, as you can see, I'm really just kind of defining structure, and I even added some, you know, I'd originally drawn the back of the head there, because it's one thing, and you just keep layering on tendrils and just whatnot, okay? So let me guess, the person that suggested this, uh, did they just read the um, the Tom King Swamp Thing special with Jay, Jay Fabok? Is that what inspired this? Just curious. And then rather than having this torso that comes in like a very svelte superhero, I'm going to actually um, make it bent and brooding. Again, like he's rising up out of something. And maybe he's rising up out of the, the ground itself. Right? So that's the idea here. And uh, I'm going to have, like it's almost out of the muck the slime, the ooze, the noisome, uh, noisome means smelly, uh, noisome something. What do I want to say? The noisome, uh, fetid, uh, primordial gunk. There, there, it's all, it's all happening right there. Uh, an elephant, was that a one-shot issue? It was. <coughs> um, the bog of eternal stench, I like that. The bog, I like that. I, I one word I could not think of. Rotten rock, hello. Um, so shadow artland oh okay hold on one second what oh it's like i gotta open up chat a little bit larger here shadowland art oh mein bayerisches mädchen tage bloß hin hervor weisen leg dich auch hin Wir scheißen eben nicht. Uh, crap. I went too fast. And my, my, my reading is so slow. I want to say that sounds like some sort of uh, passage. 
eben nicht mit dem das Schutz, Schützenfest niemals mehr gesehen. Oh, my Bayern maidens, women, girls. I, oh my god, this thing is scrolling. Uh, okay, I can't read it. But something about uh, they haven't seen these people again. I have no idea. Are you quoting German literature? Is that faith no more? What is your favorite Girl Scout cookie? S'mores are pretty good. I was just eating a bunch of those last night. And uh, I say Samoas, but they're not called Samoas. Or are they called Samoas? Or maybe I call them Samosas. Either way, it's the, it's the one with the coconut on them. Okay. I used to be a thin minner when I was younger. And then I grew up. Okay. Um, are we all singing Faith No More? <laughs> They're still called Samoas. I think of those like uh, wrestlers. Samoan wrestlers. When I, <laughs> so samosas, I think of aren't those like those triangular Indian treats. I don't know. Firestorm has subscribed. Cabin Topper has subscribed. T Fam Illustrate has subscribed. Bio Nerd eighty eight has resubscribed. Pap Papa Mo Papa Mo fifteen has donated. Love your work. Thank you, Papa Mo fifteen. Papamo. Uh, Adrian Della Fu 96 has resubscribed. Thank you for resupporting the channel. Janella has cheered from all the way from the Philippines. Thank you so much. Um, Comic and Ponies has subscribed. And Hassant 16 has cheered. The Jigga Man has resubscribed for five months. Very cool. Thank you. And Hassan has already, oh, sorry, Hassan has resubscribed. And Janela has cheered again. Thank you. And Bedlam Nak, keep up the great art and inspiration to future artists. Thank you for tuning in. And Rame303 has subscribed. I believe I am caught up. And in this moment, I Firestorm1775 has chosen to resubscribe as well. Thank you, or subscribe. So welcome to the channel, guys. Any of you that are new and wondering what the hell's going on, uh, join the club. It moves at a fast pace. I don't know how many people are tuning in right now. But the goal is to hit 1,000 concurrent. Uh, Twitch uh, gives you unlock something. Gives you a little virtual doggy treat. And uh, I guess it means something to hit that number. So it would be great. So this is a warm-up, warm-up, and uh, life is a warm-up, <clears throat> and uh, I believe we gave away, last sketch was uh, a sub-25, so this is open to anyone in the channel. You could be someone who's just literally logged on to Twitch, know nothing about comic art, saw that this was streaming jumped over you're wondering what's going on who's this strange asian fellow drawing and uh, you could still win and beat out people like crispy who's been around for months and months won and then lost still waiting to win it could happen and chances are it probably will and that's why we all tune in okay And this is the appropriate time. It didn't work. Oh. <laughs> it would help. It's almost like Spanish. You have to put the exclamation point first. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I'm almost done with this. It doesn't look like it, 
Or does it look like it? I, I, I think it looks like it. I'm almost done. And uh, by that I mean I'm going to go in and uh, smear some ink. That's what, that's what this is all about. Okay. You know what? I don't have any paper towels. I have to get some. I'll be right back, fo gentle folk. I'll be right back. When's Mason going to show us his uh, CSGO skills again? I don't think anytime soon. He actually uh, is going to delete it off his computer. Um, we just upgraded his PC to a 1080 Ti um, uh, <coughs> video video uh, graphics card. And I want to thank Poop Kid for, for his, uh, his uh, tech support, making that happen. Um, and, uh, I was just saying he had issues cause he had filled up his drive with too many games. So I asked him to delete some. That was one of the ones that went away. He's into Fortnite and, uh, he and his buddies, his 12, 13 year old buddies are all into Fortnite and I'm looking for the ink. Okay. Here it is. I am still into PUBG players unknown battleground, but I've I've just I'm just horrible at it. I'm just absolutely horrible. If there's a stupid way to die in that game, I've done it. <laughs> All right, what am I gonna do here? All right, I've got ink. Okay, it's kind of like a bloody nose, but with black ink. And I'm just gonna basically create some textures by dabbing it. And I'm actually rotating. I'm over, overly exaggerating the rotation because if I don't exaggerate it, it looks like I'm just hitting it like this. And you you might do the same thing and not get the results you want. So basically, if you look at, I'm like twisting my hand, trying to get something different going on with each impression. Okay. But um, if you do this a lot, you can get pretty decent at sort of understanding where that ink's going to go. And you can use it kind of like a brush to um, kind of fill in black shapes and whatnot. Okay. And then uh, he's going to glow like a, the Masonic, Masonic, Messianic character that he is. So if this were a painting the lightest or whitest area values would be around the head here to kind of draw the eye towards that area. And I'm doing the same thing here with black and white. Okay. A lot of people here. Jim, are you a Freemason? Um, oh, sorry. That's the Freemason secret wink. That's all I can say. Um, hold on a second. Let me... <laughs> Your eyes are not bleeding with so many messages? Um, no. No. I read about one in 30. 
Yokei, Yokei, Yokai, Yokai artist has resubscribed for two months. Thank you. Janella has cheered again and has an important message. Haven't won anything since I joined the channel, but still enjoying the stream. Wouldn't hurt winning something though. <laughs> Can't keep this up forever. <laughs> Money doesn't grow on trees. <laughs> Bits don't either. So please make me win. Wink, wink. Freemasons forever. Thank you, Janella, for that wonderful message. I'll try to make that happen. All right. Thank you, Pity83, for that strange collection of consonants. How were the winners selected? Um, secretly. There's a meeting beforehand. <laughs> we predetermined who the winners are going to be. The mods. Kirihiko, Renelephant, and Crispy. We all get together. With our Oracle, Poop Kid. And uh, we pre predetermine who the winners will be. There you go. Queen City Amusements. Just cheered. My cat has a German accent. Mein Katz. Dein Katz. Perfect. Love it. Okay. Um, yeah. Ronnie is, uh, he's that way. <clears throat> the chat, the wind, I moved the cameras around. Okay. Chrome Dome 618 still hurt and I was selected for 25 sub and wasn't subscribed. And you still are not subscribed. Look, there's no shame in, in, in not subscribing. But you uh, can't win some if you don't subscribe. And how can you? Uh -oh. I'm trying to let's try to do a riff on uh, Pink Floyd. Something about pudding and meat, but I, I screwed that up. <clears throat> don't worry, guys. I'm just I'm preparing. I'm preparing for con season. We have WonderCon coming up ahead of us. And there'll be a uh, how to draw, I don't know, a, a, a live version. This is live too. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, in person version of this stream, I think it is uh, 5 to 6 or 5 30 to 6 30 or 4 30 to 5 30. I don't know, something like that. Friday um, of WonderCon. And uh, so it will be weird because I've been, you know, basically streaming all winter and uh, drawing in front of a crowd again, um, having that live interaction not that this isn't live interaction but you know what i mean uh, will be unusual to do after having done it uh online for months prior to and when i say con season it is kind of a season it's something that starts up and has a finite period of time it kind of starts up around uh, april and runs through till about october and i know there are conventions outside that window but most of them are inside that window and there's a circuit and and, uh, you know, people go to the shows. You see a lot of people you see once a year at these shows or twice a year at these shows um, from both professionals and fans. And, um, you know, you get caught up on, on people's. It's sort of like a mini reunion every year. So I've got that kind of ahead of me. But putting this red marker on my finger, I've... Added some some lovely uh, redness here that I don't, I'm not a fan of, so I'm going to make it go away. <coughs> Excuse me. Dr. Gun... Dr. Grinz... Dr. Gunazadil? Dr. Gunazadil 101? There are. 
it's, it's probably too hard to explain. But there, I, I'd like to think that there are different opportunities or rewards or cool things that happen at every level. Uh, the higher levels basically get more opportunities to win free sketches, um, opportunity to get their, their work um, reviewed. Um, I think we're going to do a meetup. I was thinking about this. Rather than a meetup at every convention, because um, that would be a lot of work year-round, I'm thinking there'll be a yearly meetup, and that meetup will be WonderCon. It'll be the first one that we're going to have for subs. <clears throat> Excuse me. And it's almost like, a, hey, uh, this is our year, uh, our kind of annual meetup of, of the channel in real life. And um, seeing how that goes. And maybe there'll be a second one at New York Comic Con. I don't know. But, but definitely WonderCon. Um, and, I, and I say WonderCon because that's a show that I go to almost every year. Or I have every year. <clears throat> and also because um, it's a show that um, uh, is relatively local to a lot of people on the stream and it doesn't do packages and 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 those kinds of um deal it's business not model is not built upon on these packages and and whatnot um that's some of these other shows and so i i feel less guilty about um arranging meetups that would be competitive in nature, I guess. All right, so I'm just basically um, rendering out using tendrils. So instead of cross hatching, I'm basically just drawing veins and 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 uh, um, tendrils and out of the black areas into the white to create create grays but also to create detail and form and uh, visual interest, action lines, as we would say sometimes, right? <clears throat> I do live in Idaho. Good for you, Jordan. You're going to Boston as well. Yes, I am. Einstein, Gene, some, I am on. What? What are you on? You're very excited. Uh, GDC ends right before WonderCon. I might be in the area. Perfect. Game developer conference for you, for those of you that don't know. Um, Patrick Kev says, how would you pencil Swamp Thing detail if it was going to be inked by someone else? I would use a pencil like this, and I would draw the line that you just saw, and it would look like that, and then I would go in ink, and so the anchor would go like, oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> On that lean. Nice. Um, hey, what's up, my dude? Cool work, Jim. Cool, that's a cool story, bro. Cool work, Jim. Uh, okay. The Dark Schne Schnege. <laughs> the Dark Schnege. The Dark Schnege. What does that mean? The Dark Schnege has subscribed. Ernie, 110877. Ernie, he was born on November 8th, 1977, who is currently 31 years old, has subscribed. Thank you. Jor Jordan Boise has subscribed. Thank you. Einstein Jeansum has subscribed. Chuck Van Frankenstein has subscribed. Night Raven X has subscribed. And Pity has said in Dutch, this looks amazing. Thank you for the cheer. Queen City Amusements has also cheered. My cat has a German accent. You said that before. Sorry, repeated that again. And Dr. Grisnadiel101 has done his research or done her research. Don't want to be sexist. Um, has d accumulated the data and has made the determination to subscribe at the tier three level. Well, I appreciate that. That's very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Tigiri964 has also subscribed. Okay. 
Sneak7 has resubscribed. Okay, so this part now is it's it's kind of like busy work, but it's important. Right. It's a dark slug. Schnege is the German word. Schnecke? Schlug. That one I didn't learn, but yeah, the dark slug. So, um, you're active on, tw on Twitch? Yeah, I am. Well, that's cool. It's really nice meeting you here uh, for our first get-together offline here at this wonderful restaurant. What was your handle again? The dark Schnege. What? Oh, the, the dark slug. Okay. I gotta go. I'll see you. Uh. <laughs> Look, there could be worse handles. Poop kid comes to mind. <laughs> All right. Um, now I'm just drawing... The, the shadows of the hand, right? And so if, if I were thinking of a light source coming from here, each of these um, fingers kind of go in and uh, um, there's got to be muscles that operate these little cranes and they, they exist inside here, but also at the base. And so there's a ball here, so it creates a shadow, right? So each of these balls here create this shadow like this. Okay. And then sometimes this ball, if the light is strong enough, not only creates a shadow on the ball itself, but then that casts a shadow, a deeper shadow on everything below it as well. And that's why a lot of this will go to black like that. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and do each of the uh, balls underneath each finger. And then they in turn will then cast shadow onto the rest of the the hand here. And you cannot be afraid to uh, throw that shadow across. Meaning if you had a head here, okay. If you have a head here, any old character, whatever, take your pick, right? <clears throat> and it, uh, go ahead and this, this shadow is the, this is the shadow of this head here. And you can do that. And the fact that it looks cooler if you do that, but you have to be fearless. You just have to throw it across. All right. Okay. Got that? <clears throat> Back to adding shadow to your walls. Yes. Shadowland Art. Way to keep this a family-friendly channel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I'm just adjusting the shadows to, to kind of create me the, the most amount of uh, 3D kind of uh, feeling. So this the shadow, <clears throat> the hand has core shadows in it. And then here's the forearm, the hawk underneath. And I'm just going to do a double lighting kind of thing. So I'll put the shadows in the middle. Okay. And it's important to do that, I think, because I don't want to make it all black because then the black will fade into the black here and it will disappear. So now by putting the whites on the sides, it's popping out off this black background. Okay. And so I'm trying to create, even though I've done this thing <coughs> where the, uh, it's coming straight at you and uh, it's very foreshortened, 
I have to use um, my shadows and black shapes and line weights to create as much depth as possible. Okay, see what I'm saying? All right. And so now, since I have this as white, it's good to have black up against it because that, that's what will give you the maximum sort of uh, bounce or depth perception. Will Bruce Hart has cheered. Thank you very much, Will Bruce Hart. He liked the fact that I was inking around the, the sensitive areas of the pectoral muscle. That must be Will's thing. It's like, ooh. Um, <laughs> yikes. Sorry, Will. Um, and, uh, what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought. Um, Eric's art 10 has subscribed. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, so the, the two rules I have here about foreshortening, it's black on white gives you the most amount of depth and then scale, right? So all the, the crazy noodling off here is gonna be thinner and uh, more dense than what I have here. Okay. We're doing on time, folks. 11.07. Okay. Like I said, I have a hard out 11 or 12. I got to go sell some Girl Scout cookies at Vaughn's. Is anyone coming? Is it just going to be me and a bunch of people that are coming to buy Pizza Pockets or whatever? Will I be there by myself? Ma'am, ma'am, can I interest you in a box of Girl Scout cookies? I'll draw a picture of Batman on, on the box. Whatever. I have a feeling that's going to be me. <laughs> uh, Punker13 says is already there. Punker13, can you confirm that there's no one else in line but, but one crazy maniac fan? Punker13 says you have a line here. A line of people... As in more than one maniac named Punker13. I'll be like, can I help you take the groceries out to your car? Can I interest you in some Girl Scout cookies? Okay, I guess not. Whatever. Didn't like you anyway. Or it might, <laughs> might be the reverse. What's that person doing there? Uh... Hover around that small Asian man. Why is he running on circles away from that guy? Get away, Punker 13. Uh, no, that will not be the case. We're going to be hanging out, having a good time for an hour and a half in front of a grocery store. <clears throat> Jim, why the brush pun and not the brush? Oh, I have a brush right here. I just... I thought I'd just pull this out and just use it for convenience. Really, no reason. <clears throat> Where uh, DJ Mittens? Where's the oddest stop you met a fan? Uh, spot. I'm guessing we, the oddest spot. Hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's odd, but sometimes um, like TSA, like when I'm going through the airport, 
and they look at me funny and I go like, oh no, I'm going to get pulled aside for a security check. But then they're like, hey, you know, I love your work or aren't you whatever. Um, actually, at Avon's uh, <laughs> parking lot, like 1.30 in the morning in La Jolla, California, my wife and I went there to pick up some pizza pockets or something. I don't know what, but some dude, man, he spotted me from across this dark parking lot and he just kind of yelled out hey you know love your work or whatever so it does happen um sometimes i've been on a plane <coughs> excuse me and then i get off the plane and uh someone have tweeted out like hey i was two rows behind you you know <laughs> you know <laughs> Watching everything you did on the flight, it's not weird, I hope. Um, no. And then another one, sorry, was I was literally at dinner with my wife having a romantic meal. And someone tweeted like at me like, hey, two tables over from Jim Lee having dinner. And then I'm like, who could it be? <laughs> And was I chewing with my mouth open? I don't know. It's uh, You never really think about these things. But it does happen like that every now and then. All right. So I, I want the light source to be over here. And so to be fearless like this, I'm like going, why am I just a go for it? As long as this shadow doesn't overlap. Uh, well, well, let's just go for it and see what happens. Right? Doesn't that look better already? Yes? Nine? Yes? That's like this shoulder, this, this muscle here. I don't know what it's called. Scuffner, you shouldn't be checking your phone when you're having a romantic dinner with your wife. Well, maybe we were sending each other secret messages. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, let's see if I can finish this off here because I think I've got 45 minutes. This is just the warm up, and this is taking longer. This is the arm casting a shadow. And the spirit of being fearless. The shadow parts, I mean. Now I'm just kind of drawing. Um, rivlets underneath. It's almost like uh, if there was a bunch of veinage. What's it called when it's not? It's not called veins. That's humans. What's it called in a tree? When there's tendrils upon tendrils, so the under layer of tendrils is one is what this these things represent. When I do things like that, it's kind of. A layer of tendrils with a bigger layer on top of it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> roots, roots. Russell, he Russell Heath. Rus Russell Sheath. Russell's Heath. Roots, roots, branches. Perfect. Machinal Jim, you've got five more of these to do before 12. Come with me if you want to live. 
You forgot the tubers. That's right, tubers are mushrooms, right? I am talking about the shallow root system, correct? Vines. Oh, look at you guys. Come on with all the useful suggestions. <coughs> Ignite Comics has cheered. Thank you. Love your work and how you treat your fans. Thank you very much, Ignite Comics. Double J480 has subscribed. Screw Jack. <laughs> Screw Jack has subscribed. Thank you, guys. Why is there so much German? Why? Warum nicht? That is an existential question. Why is there so much German? I think Kafka asked that question. Why? Why is there so much? All right. I think I can go to the whiteout now, folks. Correct, correct. Now I'm wiping the ink with my finger to basically create the same density behind it. You notice if I didn't do that, they stand out and they're darker. So uh, it's just a blending technique to make the original look a little nicer. <clears throat> okay. And now, good morning. That looks awesome. Thank you, comics and ponies. Wildstorm CCG. Can we get one of the Gen, the Gen 13 kids on the second sketch asking for a friend? Nine, says Superhero Swimmer. Thanks, my dude. Do what? Do that. Will you come in France one day? Yeah, I'm coming in uh, April. I will be at uh, Album, the store Album, in the uh, Saint-Germain section, as we like to say, Saint-Germain. Uh, I think April 15th, I think that's a Saturday. In the afternoon, I will be there. Let me check. If you go to Discord, you will see um, my entire calendar for the first half of the year. So, uh, sorry, April 14th is Saturday. I'll be at the Album Store in, in uh, Paris. And then the following weekend, I'll be at a show called at Lake Como, which is in Italy. Italy. Why he? I'm trying to romance you in different languages. Are you in trance? Do you feel unusually funny or unusually warm, tingly? Um, I screwed that up. Okay. Where is the Discord? Another Germanic existential question. Where is the Discord? We will make you tell us. Jonella has cheered. Will you go to STGCC, Singapore Toy and Games Comic Con this year? I'm impressed that I knew what that stood for. Uh, but no, I'm not. Sorry. The Spider-Man 1963, listening to the stream while driving on the interstate. That is always a great idea. Watching an art stream, listening to an art stream. Let me uh, let me make this convenient for you, Spider Man, nineteen sixty three. I am now taking the Pentel White out. Now Jim Lee is caressingly moving it across the top part of the Swamp Thing's spine, undulating the line in a very soft and soothing way creating a visual dynamic between the black and white areas. Watch out for that blind spot. Someone's, someone's behind you. Now he's moving to the top part of their shoulders, dabbing here and there. No, not the dance move, but with the white out, creating scintillating little moments of perky tendrils across Swamp Thing's expansive shoulders. <laughs> Spider-Man 1963 is 
getting aroused while on the interstate. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. All right. Let's just finish this up. I got, I got, I got one more other sketch. One more other sketch. I got to do. One more other. Is that English? One more other. Okay. All right. Let me just finish this up by doing kind of what I planned on doing here, which is. Having these kind of roots come up. All righty. Like I said, that's a very forgiving, bulletproof type character. You can almost draw anything with this guy. And it looks pretty cool, I think. And... Happy little chines. Dakbert has subscribed. Thank you very much for the subscription. That's freut mich. That's a little bit of reflexive German for you guys. That's probably not even the right way you say it. You'd probably say Hapdas Gan. Can someone who knows please illuminate the crowd? I would not want to be teaching the wrong German expression. These are phrases, crispy, that you need to learn. Yeah, there's tree background. Don't worry, Superhero Summer. I got you covered, dude. The Dark Schnegge. You're doing well with your German. <laughs> now that I know what slug means. Deine Schnegge is ausgezeichnet. I just said your slug is excellent. Ich möchte deine Schnegge kochen. I want to cook your slug. Ich will Fußball mit deiner Schnecke mit deiner Schnecke spielen. I want to play soccer with your slug. These are all useful phrases. Okay, so now um I'm going to go to black over here. The sketch is telling me, go to black on this side, a little cooler. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Jeff Dyer, 1970, has donated $10. Thank you, Jeff Dyer. I appreciate that. Stop Motion Rinku has subscribed. Wheels has subscribed. The real Zakuru. <laughs> Zakuruk. Zakuruk has subscribed. Jacob Time 777 has subscribed. Roku Marv has subscribed as well. Okay. All right. So now he doesn't look as portly because he was looking kind of uh, portly there and because uh, he's kind of coming from the darkness here. And I will reestablish kind of some of the tendrils here. And then, last but not least, to finish off this warm-up warm sketch, I'm going to draw some foliage coming out behind him. But I think I'm going to do this in a kind of an artsy uh, Art Nouveau, kind of an art movement from the 20s, I think, Art Deco. And uh, so it's not meant to be a literal representation of a swamp, but kind of a, a designy thing. So kind of just, I don't know why I'm doing it. Just thought I'd do something kind of different. But you can see that the lines are a graphical representation of what tendrils would look like. But I'm doing it in a way that is obviously not meant to be representational, but a design element. So it is in contrast to the more realistic drawing that I've put on elsewhere but hopefully the juxtapositioning of the two um, styles creates a visual interest that is pleasing to the th eye Or not. I don't know. Okay. All right. I think I'm done. Okay. I realize I'm off paper here. I'm done. The Dark Schnegge has said perfection, so my work here is finished. Thank you. All right. Warm up sketch finished. I put that right here. All right, now I have exactly 32 minutes, 31 minutes to do something a little more finished. Okay. Let me put this over here. Pity83 has cheered. Thank you. Appreciate it. I do. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Jimmy Boy. Thank you. <laughs> Masterpiece. Um... Did I learn to draw in the Girl Scouts? No, but I was a Boy Scout. We below, Boy Cub Scout. Um, okay. Um, what am I going to draw? <laughs> East Shy. Okay, first off, Crispy. Nice attempt, but it's I S T, not E S T. E S T might be French or something. Or maybe it means something crispy language. East Shiza is the phrase you're looking for. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, Jim Lee, what art school was the best for pursuing a career as a comic book artist? Well, there's the Kubert School of Art. There's um, a lot of like the Parsons School of Art, School of Visual Arts and Design. Um, Savannah's College of Art and Design down in Atlanta. There's a lot of great schools, so... 
Google be thy friend. Oh. Uni, uni, Unagizilla has cheered. Jean Grey, Jean Grey next or I'll fart on my cat. Okay. Uh, Jean Grey is uh, put out there. Pity 83. Do you have uh, a choice? I'm going to put up to vote. Let's see the last people th that cheered. Last four. And the last three. So Jean Grey, Pity 83, do you have a suggestion? And Janella, do you have a suggestion? Very quickly. Uh, I'm losing track. So we have Jean Grey. Did Pity 83 say anything? Uh, what's up with the attempted mustache? This is not attempted mustache. This is my mustache. Lovingly groomed, one hair at a time. Hush. Okay, so we have Hush, Jean Grey, and what's the third one? Janella. Janella. Quickly. Before I break out into dance, what's the third one? Janella? Hello. Desert Rose has resubscribed. Thank you very much. Art Munch. Art Munch has resubscribed. Chen43027 has subscribed as well. Thank you. Ignite Comics, Green Arrow, please. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, I have not heard. Okay, so I'm going to use those three because Janella might be AFK. All right. Uh, oh, Space Ghost. Okay. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, no, Space Ghost, Space Ghost. All right, so how do I... Okay, here we go. The poll. All right. What to draw? Okay. I'm going to put Hush Space. Don't don't vote yet, guys. Uh Space Ghost. Green arrow. And what was the last one? What was the last one? Um Jean Grey, sorry. There we go, Jean Grey. Wait, why can't I not pick four? I guess it won't allow me. Wait. Sorry. All right. Now we'll start. I started accidentally too early. <laughs> Give that a minute. To percolate. All right, that should be enough, right? Did you guys vote? All is good. Fertig. Finito. Finite. Hover over my face. Hover over this lovely... Oh, sorry. Hover over Jim's face with your mouse to open the poll. Do not click on the mustache. Do not click on the mustache. Thank you, Kirihiko. Obviously, uh, some Swiss humor. All right, here we go. End the poll. What do we have? What are the results? 49.4% of you have voted not to go with Hush. Who came in second with 26%? Space Ghost, who came in 12.7%? And Green Arrow, 11.4%. So Jean, Jean Grey is overwhelming uh, winner of us. So I'll do Jean Grey. All right, let's go back. To... Books of Josh Art donated 15. Thank you. 15 clams. Miss my sub, Jim Lee. No worries. Showing love for the shout out. You inspired me to pursue my career as my art as career at Full Sail University. That's where J.D. Harmeyer went to school. And also Scott Williams, that my anchor, his son, went to full sale. I'll be working with you very soon. I will keep this spot right here warm and available for you. MJ Mjamalan. 
Two has resubscribed for five months. Oni Patel has resubscribed. Good to see you again. Onil Patel. Yes. Okay. Um, Uni, Uni Godzilla is uh, defecating. So ex so excited. Poop Kid is very happy to hear that. There's nothing like a good movement uh, forming. Right? All right. Okay. I've got to move this out of the way. Uh, Jean Grey. All right. Jean Grey. Jean Grey. I'm going to do uh, classic Jean Grey. Let's start with the shoulder, which is an unusual area. I'm going to do the hand. The, it's almost like a magic, like kind of like a foo 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 foo, but no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, okay. Or maybe I don't know. Should be should should, should be doing the temple move. Like I don't know <laughs> the foo foo. Well, this is the foo foo like foo foo, and then this is like the. Na, 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 na. Oh, I don't know. Um, what to do? I know it's 11:37. The foo foo. No, 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 no. Oh, maybe, maybe just one hand. Yes, maybe one hand. She's doing the mix of the foo foo and the no, 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 no. She's doing the foo na, the foo no, no, no. She's doing that. If I had a cell phone in my hand, this is where it would be. Follow my inst follow your instinct, Jim. M M Tain one, my spirit animal. Follow your instincts. Follow your instincts, son. You have a set of skills. You know how to use them. Okay, see, I'm kind of drawing different parts of the body all around and then connecting them afterwards. I don't know why I did that, other than I just know that uh, there are certain things I want in certain positions, so I'm going to put them there and then make sure that they all connect up in an anatomically pleasing way later. Hey, my creator, timeline, timeline is ended, but I don't know. Jake Kavner has cheered. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh oh. Sounds like someone's not happy outside. That's probably because. My wife is gone with our six-year-old to the Vons to go set up already and has left our four-year-old with the 12-year-old and they're fighting over Nerf guns or something. <laughs> we 
or something. All right. I've got uh, 20 minutes, and then I'll be running out the door, 15-minute drive to my local Vons at 4033 Laurel Canyon Boulevard, area code uh, 91604. 4033 Laurel Canyon Boulevard, the Vons is a grocery store. I'll be there uh, with uh, my local Girl Scout troop selling cookies. If you have comics you want to bring, get them signed. Let's do that. Take some selfies. Freak out the other shoppers. They'll be like, why is that weird man in a Girl Scout shirt taking selfies with people? That's what we'll be doing after this. I don't know what you guys have planned, but I'm sure it doesn't top that. <clears throat> uh, gonna stream live stream the sales again. Ask Book and Red fourteen forty two. I don't know if I have some that will hold prop up the camera. I can. I, there might be literally one person there, and that's Punker thirteen. <laughs> so it could be a very short uh, live stream. It could just be me asking uh, Punker13 a bunch of questions. I don't know about this. I don't know. There's something about it. I'm going to look it to the light for a second. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. <whistles> that Vons will be closed at 1 p.m., it says. What? Push that booty back more, says Crispy Egg Roll. Okay, Crispy, that's really uncomfortable. This is a safe spot or a safe zone or I don't know what the phrase is. But come on. Uh, JC00621 has subscribed. <laughs> Push that booty. All right. Uh, are you making the cookies? No. It's a safe space. That's what it is. Um Is that the Neil Adams costume? Is it the Neil Adams or the Jack Kirby? I think it's the Jack Kirby costume. No? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I do work in the business. I am a professional. I know that probably doesn't count for a lot for a lot of you people. They're used to just getting participation awards or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. <phone rings> Felv Passage. Skirt Neil Adams, I think. You know, you're probably right. Hold on a second. Neil Adams? Is it Neil Adams? Depends on when this was published. Boy, it's hard to say, isn't it? You may be right. I may be wrong. What do I know? I have this picture by Werner Roth. Okay. 
I stand corrected. Neil Adams, I apologize. What do I know? <laughs> you know, it's been a long time since I've worked on these books, so uh, yeah. That's my excuse. I'm sticking to it. All right. I don't know. Um, okay. 15 minutes. All right, let me make this count. Unlike all the other sketches I've done for you guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking that... Uh, doesn't she wear gloves? Now I'm questioning everything. Yes, she does. All right. Extra boute for Chris Bay. Look up to the light, make sure it looks uh, semi-decent, semi-decency achieved, I think. I think I have the hair kind of flow this way, this way. All right, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can pull it off. A marker would be useful. Start here with the that's a little bright, isn't it? Or maybe it's my screen. It's kind of late to be adjusting this now, but okay, that looks a little bit better to me. I should really open up chat so one of you guys can just kind of talk in the stream while I draw and that way I don't have to talk and we have some lovely stories that can be shared. That's a surefire recipe to grow this channel, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's go back. Let's see what you guys are saying. <laughs> Doomsday clock. Has 15 minutes left, decides to adjust screen, laughing my ass off. Thank you. Thank you for that laugh of your ass off. Loose in pub. How long will you be selling cookies today? Um, I am legally prohibited from selling past 2 o'clock. The next uh, Girl Scout group will take over at that point. So um, that's a long way to drive. And if you don't make it, I would feel bad for you. I purposely gave very little notice because the idea is just to get a reasonable crowd. I don't know what, what kind of crowd we'll get. I know Punker 13's there. If it's just me and Punker, uh, we will be live streaming from the event and uh, we'll just be chatting it up because what else am I going to do, right? All right, let me see. I think that looks all right. I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, haha. Ha. It's an hour. Uh, yeah. Selling cookies next weekend. I think there will be another cookie event. I think. How many cookies am I selling tonight? Uh, you know, if we can sell like a hundred boxes, that would be good. A hundred's a lot, though. Think about it. In two hours. I mean, it's a lot. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see what happens here with this sketch. Still not 100% convinced, especially since this marker is kind of crappy. I had to draw several lines to get one line, which is not helping. Throw that away. Okay, that feels a little bit better to me. Okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. What do we have here? Ooh, nine minutes. Uh, is anyone there? Anyone there yet? My wife should be there. Okay. All right. Let's see what I can do here in nine minutes. It's gonna be it's gonna be tricky, guys. I will be honest with you. It will require me to uh, do less interacting and less kind of just, or more just kind of sitting here and drawing. So let me see what I can do here. I'll just kind of talk to myself without reacting to, to chat. If you guys will permit me that. But I will talk up um, Discord. So for those of you that are new, we have a, um, it's almost like a website devoted to this channel this Twitch stream, and it's on a platform called Discord, which is used by gamers to communicate while they play games and squads or teams. And uh, what we use that platform, though, for is uh, it, it's kind of a landing page for people to talk about this stream, make suggestions, uh, get the latest news, um, you know, because once this stream stops, there's really no way for people to interact with one another until the next stream and and that's why we have this discord channel so check it out it's uh very easy it doesn't cost anything to join uh there are if you're a subscriber here though you can access more features and uh, the mods can uh, point that out i'm also going to thank the mods um, excuse me, Kirihiko, Kirihiko, Ren Elephant, and Crispy Egg Roll for their support and help. And uh, their calls for extra booty. Always good to have a booty monitor in the house. And um, yeah. They're great. They 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 make this channel um, run smoothly. They work really nonstop at at uh, think about ways to kind of improve what we have here. So please thank them on your way out if you could. So I'll thank them in advance, and then uh, I will plug. What I'm doing after this, the reason why I have this hard out at uh, 12 is I have to get over to my local Vons, which is a grocery store, grocery store here in Studio City. And um, we're going to be hawking. We're going to be selling some Girl Scout cookies there with the local troop. And then what else am I going to talk about? Oh, uh, WonderCon's coming up. Got that. And um, what else? I know there was something else to talk about. That's all I got right now. 
see how this is coming out here. I'm just kind of drawing and hoping that things um, kind of end up in a pleasing fashion here. Uh, unlike Swamp Thing, this is a, a female figure, and so there's fewer lines, but then you got to make every line count and be in the right spot, and so I'm just really trying to kind of nail the proportions and all the elements, and you can see I've kind of lowered, decided to lower this belt element. I hope that was the right choice. I'm doing it audible. I'm doing it with ink. And uh, we'll see what happens. Could be a disaster. Okay. <clears throat> Rainy was a cyborg. Every time I see these, I just want to draw forever. That's great. I'm appreciative of that. No take backs will think. You are incorrect, sir. With whiteout, everything is redoable. Um, for some reason, the sound is turned off. So I've missed a bunch of things here. Gorgon, Gorgon, Zorgon60 has cheer. Thank you. Belisa has also cheered. I uh, appreciate the um, the bits, and I believe that brings me up to date. Okay. My wife has sent me a message. Can you make this punker 13 guy go away? <laughs> I'm kidding, she didn't say that. <laughs> um, what is she saying? Your fans are here. Ha 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 ha. She put the monkey with the hands over the eyes. Okay. Apparently, you fans that are there are showing her things she doesn't want to see. I don't, I think, all right? Isn't that what that emote means? Don't show me something? I don't know. I think it, she's doing it more out of like the, the Asian, like, oh, that's embarrassing. Cover your face kind of thing, right? All right. That's the basic version of Jean Grey with the, uh, not tonight, Scott, I've got a headache. No, wait, I'm using my powers to save humanity. Sorry, 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 sorry. Very sexist thing for me to say. Okay. Good job. Ding, two, one, ding, ding, ding. Uh, okay. Ooh, I got a minute and a half, minute and a half. There's still more. There's still more. I'm not going to rob you guys out of the, the last minute and a half. And when I said I had a hard out at 12, I really probably the hard out is at 12.05 maybe. And then I also have to do the giveaway, right? So I love how there's like the wind machine, like woohoo, like the seventies, like on a summer here people are going what is he talking about 1870s what 1970s what is that disco what look at this hair it's like woohoo I was designed by Neil Adams Neil had the best maximum costumes man so cool that that design he did for um, the angel with the, the blue with the white stripes down the center revolutionized design for that no other, never seen a costume like that before so cool gotta make sure that this is not too big alright okay so alright uh, okay what is it 12 o'clock I got 5 minutes maybe 6 Angry Panda 888, better than Campbell. You know, don't you don't have to drag other people down to elevate me. You could just say better. Like awesome. It's always it always strikes me funny, like, you know what? Uh when people get compared to each other. It's not a zero sum game, right? Art has no winners. Right? You don't get an award. First place, second place, third place. 
Although you do have followers and you can measure each other's success that way. So maybe there are. Oh, okay. So what am I going to do? Um, okay. Oh, I hope this works. Do you like that acting? I hope this works. I do hope this works. I do hope this works. I keep saying this. tissue paper cursing under my breath all right let's see if I can do this I think someone asked uh, if Swamp Thing and Jean Grey were first up, like how the giveaway works so Swamp Thing will be for anyone in channel this will be a silent auction um, because it's a silent auction and I've screwed up in the past, I'll just go ahead and whisper me your, your top bid. It's not done yet, of course. And I will resolve it, uh, at the Vons. I probably won't have time to flip through it all, but, um, but it also gives me time to go through and figure it all out because in, uh, auctions past, I've actually kind of screwed up and missed, um, higher bids or, um, so there were some disappointed people. So at the end of the day, um, uh, there's whisper, it's in your, the mods will tell you how to do it. Just put a number in, it's a silent auction, just one number, please, one bid. Uh, don't put any other messages because I won't be able to see the number. I, I don't open the actual whisper, I just kind of look at the, uh, look at the, the, the stack of them, whatever, in, uh, the window. And... And then I notified the winner uh, through private message and we figure it all out. And I've mentioned in, in, and then I usually mention in chat, like how much it went for. Uh, so people have a sense um, for future auctions. Typically they've gone for anywhere from like $1,200 up to, I think the top one was over 3000. Um, these are, so you have to figure out what's appropriate for yourself. Um, Yes. Okay. So let me just, it's uh, 1204. Just doing some cleanups here. And then just adding some thicker lines and what that does is it gives the figure weight it pops out areas to create better foreshortening <laughs> so every kind of uh, 
dark shadow here, whatever, um, creates more volume. And actually what I've done with um, the silent auction ones is I've actually touched them up even after I'm done. So with this, I'm going to leave it here, but I'll probably do some more whiteout effects here on afterwards. And uh, so you have to have kind of trust me with it, but I want to make sure I hit this, get to the store. So even with the Wolverine one, um, I had the buyer said, hey, can you make, add some blood on the claws? And I did that with red ink. And even with the Thanos, I went back in and... and, and Played around with some of the uh, the effects, you know. Twelve oh six forty nine. Okay, so I, I should probably go. All right. So I'm just going to basically do that around, kind of add these white out effects, and then probably add a circle right here, which I can do right now. I want a CD. I don't see a CD. People don't really use CDs anymore. I don't see one. Excuse me one second. The hunt for a CD. Okay, well, I'm gonna use two, I'm gonna use this then, but I'll do two small ones like this, and then sorry. one right here. Oh, take that back. That last one right there. And then I'll go do some more of this. Okay. All right. So uh, I will post up the final result later so you can kind of see, but you can kind of use your imagination. Thank you very much guys for tuning in. I got to run to this Vons. I got to, I got to move some merch. Uh, let's give away this uh, Swamp thing. So let me put this right over here for the Jean Grey go ahead and set me a whisper silent bid I will notify in discord who the well, not the, who the winner was but the high bid in the general chat for everybody so you guys have uh, if you'd like to keep a running tally of that okay uh, and then you'll just have to trust me that it will be finished and uh, go from there um, but really it's just going to add a little more of the white out maybe a little white out splatter to kind of do the psychic effect and that would be it really and actually maybe a little gray penciling i don't know all right papamo has subscribed thank you very much oh toro has subscribed most interesting 17 has subscribed thank you guys and now we're going to do this and give away this swamp thing here okay so um good luck everybody i'm gonna roll it it's Ernest J07 following since February 25th. That is today. Um, congrats. You have a lot of people that are not happy with you. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. But congratulations. Uh, who? Okay. All right. That's sent off. Uh, so this Jean Grey, what it's planning on doing is kind of going back in like this, probably. Because there's, I don't want to really model the, um, the green parts of the costume. 
too much. So probably do some so great tonal work like that. Right? And so on and so on and so on. Or should I save that and just finish it for the next stream? I don't know. But you can see, see, sort of see it come to life with uh, each kind of pass of the pencil and then erase the, the lines that are kind of too distracting and go from there. All right. Okay. So thank you very much, guys. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Um, I had a lot of fun today and uh, hopefully we might be live streaming from the Vons event. All right. Take care.